we push our carts to the curb for trash pickup. But where does it go from here? You might be surprised to know that your trash doesn't just sit in a landfill. It takes on a new life as electricity. I feel like the citizens are surprised because I was surprised when I found out that we turned trash into electricity. And I feel like it's good for the city because it keeps our city clean and it's also very good for the environment. But first things first, how does it all begin? It's a process called waste to energy. I asked Greg Grodeklaus to break it down for me. Greg, this is a pretty amazing operation. Tell me, what does waste to energy mean? Well, basically it means using your garbage to produce energy. There's a couple different schemes. Uh, this is the more standard and tried and true operation where you basically use your garbage as a fuel in a power plant, produce steam, and that produces electricity. And then we export the electricity to the uh, regular grid and uh, whoever's on the electric grid can, can use it. We get about a thousand tons of garbage a day or that's what we process. Now we don't get much on the weekends, but in general garbage comes in all day. We pretty much operate 24-7, 365 days a year. So even though we're not getting garbage, we're always burning garbage. Uh, there's a lot of maintenance associated with the operation, so when they're not burning garbage, they're taking units down one by one and uh, fixing them. The plant has a lot of redundancy, so when we're working on one part of the plant, the rest of the plant continues to operate and burn garbage, because the garbage never stops coming, so we gotta be prepared to take it. This plant has been here since 1985 as a waste energy plant, and that, we're one of the earlier ones in America. So it's been around 25, 30 years. Here are some facts. Across the United States, 88 similar waste to energy facilities process nearly 100,000 tons of municipal solid waste each day, creating enough electricity to meet the needs of more than 2 million homes. Here at Tampa's McKay Bay facility, running at full capacity, this plant can generate 18,000 kilowatts of electrical energy. That's enough energy for 15,000 homes. So what are some of the advantages of waste energy as opposed to landfilling? Waste energy has a couple advantages over landfilling and maybe even a few over recycling, but uh, as far as landfilling, um, this process uses all the, the waste as a fuel. We recover the heat energy out of it. We also recover any metals that are in the garbage. We have a ferrous metal recovery system and a non-ferrous metal recovery system. We also reduce the uh, volume of the garbage by a factor of about 20, well, no, more like 10. So the residue that goes to a landfill will make your landfill last uh, 10, 20 times as long because it's, the volume of the waste has been reduced. It also uh, destroys any organic pollutants that are in the garbage that would have otherwise end up in a landfill. And the disadvantage is it's a little more expensive than landfilling, but we think it's a much better alternative. Yeah. Waste to energy facilities have state-of-the-art emission control technology and are among the cleanest sources of renewable power in the world. From trash can to curbside to electricity, the path of your trash is quite remarkable. For Spotlight Tampa, I'm Brittany Jackson.